Hello, people. I'm Ginny Metherall. I'm a fourth generation witch. It's May, and as it is May, the dandelions are in full flow. And so today I'm going to look at the traditional folklore, witchcraft, and actual craft that you can do with dandelions. Dandelions are one of those flowers which everybody knows. We have all blown a clock in our time and we have all picked a dandelion and they are known for being a great symbol of childhood, happiness and hope. So all of this encased in this beautiful yellow flower. Although lots of people consider it weed, I don't. I love a dandelion. I love their scent. I love their colour and they're so useful, especially in terms of witchcraft. Its scientific name comes from the old ancient Greek taraxacum. Taraxa meaning disorder and akos meaning remedy. The Greeks, the ancient Greeks, considered it a remedy for so many different complaints and still today we would use it as such. I particularly like the fact that you can eat every single part of the plant. I mean, some bits are more edible than others, but in World War II, for example, the roots were dried and ground and used as a very pleasant coffee substitute. It is incredibly good for you in all forms. It is high in potassium, vitamins A, B, C and D, and a young leaf dandelion salad helps you purge yourself in the spring because it's a great liver tonic. It cleanses your blood and cleanses your liver. And this is one of its many benefits. I normally eat the leaves with some pine nuts, um, parmesan and olive oil. It makes a delicious salad. I mean, quite frankly, pine nuts, parmesan and olive oil on any leaf is delicious. So, you know, I can recommend it definitely. It's a wonderful anti-inflammatory, so it's particularly good for arthritis and joint pain. It cleanses your blood and has a great effect on lowering high blood pressure. Already it's turned into a miracle drug, hasn't it? If you're a lady of some girth, such as myself, you might use it uh, to give you a pleasing silhouette. And one of the easiest ways is simply to put it in your bath, as it is mildly apparent. The mid five physicians who are legendary and actual doctors from Wales swore that it released the um, deposits, the acidic deposits from your joints that arthritis causes to build up. And so therefore it was a really good cure for such. And it is known it does bring some relief. I'm not sure how you would apply it though. I'm not sure if you eat it in a tea, for example or whether you make a poultice to put on your swollen joints. I don't actually know. The legendary French doctor Jean Palissot has this to say about dandelions. A course of dandelion treatment in the spring will tone up your whole body, cleansing it of waste matter deposited by the heavy foods of winter. And this was often thought to be the case, that you should purge yourself with dandelions in the spring as a cleanser and a body tonic for your liver, your kidneys, your stomach, as well as helping with swollen ankles and other inflammatory complaints. As I've mentioned, the root is ground and roasted and made into a coffee, and it is pretty good actually. I've had dandelion root coffee before. It's, 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 it's pleasant, it's, it's nothing like coffee, but it is nice, it's a good alternative. However, my favourite drink to be made is, is dandelion and burdock cordial, which I'm, many of you will remember from the 1970s. It was my absolute favourite. Some of my children nowadays say it tastes a bit like cough mixture, but I love it. Delicious. And finally, the physical remedies that I like to use with dandelions, and this is one of my favourites, is to use the sap from the dandelion stems to put on your warts or verrucas. And if you do this three times a day for a couple of weeks, you will find that they are cured. And it does work. Beware though, that because some people do have a reaction to it. So should you be taking off your warts um, with the sap, just do a patch test first. And likewise, in the old days, they used it as a very effective yet gentle wormer for children. Dandelions love people, do they not? They would follow us into our houses if they could come. You will find them growing in every crack around your doorstep if you allow them to. They are incredibly people friendly. 
The druids believe that they gave you psychic powers, and in fact, there is a great energetic flow about them. If you take a ripe seed head and blow it at a full moon, your wishes should be granted. The traditional way to blow a clock is to blow it as hard as possible and see how many of the actual seed heads are left on the stem. And if there is a lot, that means that you are loved by many. And if there is only a single one, you have one true love. The flowers were often made into dandelion wine and this dandelion wine is very useful in the world of witchcraft because it has a lot of lutein in it, which is a an eye helper, but not just that, it opens your eyes so that you can see the occult. So have some dandelion wine if you wish to go and communicate with the fairies and sprites that happen around your home. This is why I have made a fairy ball charm, because dandelions do bring in the fae. And so here is how I make my dandelion seed head garland. You want to pick your dandelions when they have just finished flowering and there is some white seed head showing. And then snip off the stalks. Take some thread, I'm using green thread here, and using a fairly large needle, simply thread it through the base of each individual flower head. When you have threaded all of them on, then you can string your garland up. And in a couple of days, it will be open. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave me a comment below telling me what you would use your dandelions for. Um, I sometimes make dandelion balls where you pick loads of dandelion heads and put them into a, a yellow ball. I think they're so pretty. Give them to your children to play with. Do you please come and join my Patreon, become a cover member, it's a thrilling ride. I think it's going up the next meeting on about the 20th, I haven't quite managed it yet but I will and I will hopefully see you then. Otherwise please don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe because it really helps my channel, it enables me to make more of these videos for you and I will see you in the next few days.